Okay. Hey, welcome back for another episode of More to the Story. I am Farron Moore. And I'm to hear more what's popping with y'all. Hi. Um, we had a impromptu dark week <laughs> last week, so I, I missed y'all. We actually planned to do an episode, but then life was lifing and we didn't get a chance to. Right. Um, Your boy yeah. caught COVID. Ugh. Again. Again. Ruined our vacation, ruined holidays. I passed it ruined it. It's just postponed. You know what I mean? But, you know, we back out here. Yeah. The Omicron variant is, bro, somebody said this. I read this on Twitter or Instagram. It was like, they, they, they feel like they put that in the air. They had 74,000 new cases wow. last week. 74,000. And I don't know if that was just in St. Louis. The person that posted it, I think it was uh, Mocha Latte. I don't know. She said she had just read it on news. I don't know if that was just in St. Louis or what, but 74,000 in wow. one place is crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy, wow. man. Um, yeah, but it's crazy because this one is supposed to be more infectious, but not as bad. Yeah. Yep. That's exactly what it was. My first time, you know, um, I had shortness of breath. I had chest pains. I was sore, aches and the chills and all of that. This time it was literally just like a sinus infection. My nose was hella stopped up. Uh, I was hella congested and I, uh, I had a runny nose. That's how I knew something was wrong because my nose started running and I sneezed like Five different times. Typically, when I sneeze, I do multiple sneezes in, do four to five times. But I had sneezed throughout the whole day on Saturday. But um, I had went to a lot of like black owned shops where so they had incense burning. I went to one spot, they had like a whole lot of fragrance. I just thought it was that. When I woke up Sunday, Friction. my nose was running. I was like, something up. Because my nose <laughs> only runs when I'm actually sick or when the seasons are changing. So I was like, fuck. And I had got three negative tests. Three. I got two rapids and one PTR. All of this was negative when I was in Atlanta. I got back to LA on Sunday. And as soon as the, my, uh, my driver dropped me off, I hopped in my car and went to go get a rapid test. And this was positive as fuck. Pos and I thought it was a false positive, but <laughs> I went driving around looking for another test spot. Nobody. It was so crazy at that point. I couldn't do any walk-ins. So I let Farron know. Uh, went up to the office. Uh, quarantine. I woke up the next morning, went to go get another one. That that joint was positive too. It was like, well, there you go. <laughs> but I only was down for like four days. Realistically, yeah, I was down exactly. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. By Wednesday, I felt a lot better. Thursday, I felt so good. I took an at home COVID test, mm -hmm. and that it joint was, was negative. negative. Yeah. So I woke up on Friday, when it took a rapid. It was negative. Went to take my PCR, but the next day was Christmas, so the lab was closed. So I didn't get my results to Sunday, and Sunday was negative. So I was negative on Friday. But I still was quarantined because I wanted to get my PCR and uh, miss Christmas. Christmas was in the room. Yeah. We Fair had to FaceTime. Yeah, we were FaceTime and watching movies together. So I downloaded it on my iPad. <laughs> Fair was watching on TV down here. So we could be on the same account. What uh, else did we do? We played a, we played a game. Music. We played a game. <laughs> We played games on the phone. We were still trying to keep the connection. Yeah, because the kid's not even here. So yeah. that was like, I was down here going Fucking nuts. Baron I was is, so bored. Farron is not used to being alone. <laughs> and I love being alone, but because I knew she was here, I was so uncomfortable not being able to interact with her. Like, it was driving me crazy. If she had left with the kid and went home with the family, like, I would have been straight. I would have been all the way straight. However, because she was here and I knew she was going so uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh my God, I was spiraling out of control. I was I just, and then with it being Christmas, I just kept calling people and everybody was like, bitch, we doing Christmas shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you can't sit on the phone with your goof ass. Right. So, <laughs> that's, that's big facts, man. So. so like, I got a chance to like call my nieces and I FaceTime with them and saw them open the gifts that I sent them and mm -hmm. all that. But then it was like, okay, done carrying this phone around. <laughs> just like, who do I talk to now? It's but, so yeah. crazy. When you're that bored, you think like, I thought I was like, oh, I'm going to watch all the shows that I want to see. No. I'll be two episodes in and I'm like, I don't want to watch this. I don't want to. Yeah, you get tired of watching TV because yeah. that's all you have. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's and like, I got yeah. tired of sleeping. It was just like, I was going crazy in the room. But again, I was only going crazy because I knew she was down here. If she wasn't here, I would have been yeah, making playlists. He, he would have been fine. Sleeping. Yeah, I would've, I would've He'd been, been walking fine. around licking all our doorknobs and mm -hmm. stuff. I'm going to get the heads and they come back. <laughs> we was doing everything. We had so many cans of Lysol. So, so my office is right here. The restroom is right here. 
I, when I would leave out of the office to go to the bathroom, he would spray the hall. Spray the hall, so I didn't want the germs like traveling downstairs to get her. I sprayed doorknobs. Yeah. And, and thankfully, the kid wasn't here, so because yeah. I actually like took over her room, Joe, and and slept in her room, so I didn't even have to go upstairs um, unless I was like dropping food off to you, right? But yeah, and I would put the plate back on the table in the hallway and spray down the table, spray the plate. <laughs> Lysol. It was sure. so much Lysol. It was so much Lysol. I've never gone through a whole can of Lysol in three days, but I yes, did. Yes. I went through an entire can <laughs> of Lysol in three days. That has never been done. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness. So, um, also, this Happy New Year, y'all. I mean, not to Patreon, y'all. If you're watching, then hey, Happy early new year because you see this before, but then for everybody else, you're going to see and hear this on the fourth after mm. new year's. So happy new year's. Happy new year. Bam, 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 bam. We made it. We made it another year through whatever this is. And um, yeah, we, we still getting it. We out here being strong, being strong, independent black women out here doing it for ourselves. Evidently that's bad to say now. Really? Strong oh yes, it the, is. Yeah. It really is. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like we had like a whole conversation about that, like yeah, riding somewhere. Um, yeah, but in the um theme of New Year's, I kind of wanted to get into um some resolutions and whatnot. Okay. So, like what's on your what's on your your list? Did, have you done one? Have you thought them through yet? Um, like, when do you start thinking about them? Do you start like the last quarter of the previous year, or do you like just go with whatever your brain pulls together? I think you like. I mean, if you if you're really doing it right, you should probably be thinking of your resolutions all year. You know, what I'm saying and making mm. and adding to that list because I think throughout the the year it would change, mm -hmm. you know, so it could change or you just add into it. So like you might, you know, say, Hey, in, in March next year, I'm thinking about doing this, right? Like losing weight. But in that year you decide to start in June or something like that. So you start losing that weight. And then next year you just like, I want to start tuning or something like that, or, you know, uh, toning up, whatever. So I think you should be thinking about it not all. Follow that, but okay. Okay, I'm gonna say like, let's like say, you said, thinking about it in March, but then starting in June. No, no, then, no. I'm saying like, like, I think you should be start thinking about it throughout the year. So like, let's say in, in March you say, you know what? Next year, I mean, I got a lot of on my plate this year, but next year I'm gonna get in the best shape of my life, right? Mm -hmm. You set that for next year. You're thinking about it, but somehow you get some free time, so you start in June. You start losing that weight already that year, mm -hmm. but the next year you're like, you know what? I'm already in shape, but I want to fine tune it. I want mm -hmm. to tone up. So that's what I'm saying. Like those, those things could change, but I'm thinking about a year round, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause as I complete goals through this year, you know, make believe industries is uh, a branded LLC company the shows are doing well. We're trying to sell a show. We got two more shows in the, in, in, in the hole that we're ready to launch. So next, next year, I'm looking at creating three more shows on top of the two we already got and getting you to a point where you kind of like running mm -hmm. everything. So, you know, um, earlier this year, I would have been like, for next year, I just want to do two shows under Make Believe Industry. Well, I already got that. Yeah. So now I can set different goals for that, but I'm thinking about it all year round. And like yeah. the talks we've been having for the last couple of weeks about getting you more involved in the mm -hmm. process and all the business planning and all the production and, and, and like, like just what was that last yesterday? It was like yeah. if you get the numbers up mm -hmm. and, and get more disciplined with your posting, then you can walk away from your job. He's been months. on my head about these numbers. Like, Damn right. please Damn right like, right. share, subscribe. Because, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but. Okay, so I, I've never been big on New Year's resolutions. Like mm -hmm. how, I don't know. I just always felt like if it was something I wanted to do, then I would just start it whenever. Yeah. So the top of the year didn't really mean that much to me. I mean, yeah. I mean, you should definitely, you know, if you can be in the moment and, mm -hmm. and start working towards it then. But a lot of people, 
especially like during the holidays, they have time off and they start thinking about what they want to do next year and all the things they didn't do this year and mm -hmm. what they could have did better. So you start thinking about that and you're like, you know what, next year I'm going to stick to it. And uh, Angelina just said, don't say weight loss because a lot of people say weight loss and they never stick with it. You're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. But um, for us, I think what helped us is we did the Daniel fast last year or the year before last. I think it was last year. And we did all vegan food for a month. And that really mm -hmm. helped us like get control of our diet. It really helped us get control of drinking so much through the week. Um, and we, we, we really held each other accountable. So I, I really think like if you are trying to do something like that, that mm -hmm. you know is difficult to stick with, get an accountability partner because that really makes a difference. It does. And that goes into like why I... I finally was like, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to be good at this, like getting started by myself. So I had to get some help to really hunker down mm -hmm. and, and get rolling with, um, yeah, with all the things that we have planned. All right. Um, did you like my smile? Did you see it? I didn't did see it. it. Like, didn't. You gotta look. <laughs> Forced ass smile. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, uh, but this is, I feel like this is like my first year ever having a true, a true resolution. Like I want, I have a, a goal for the, um, for more to the story. I have a goal for Farron. Like I have like true things mm -hmm. and we are working on a, a whole travel list for yeah. us, um, mm -hmm. our little travel bucket list. So, um, yeah, so it's I feel like this is the first time I've ever really felt like these are things I want to accomplish this year. Yeah. And this is where, you know, and these are the steps like I'm breaking down things into smaller steps. Um, but we're going to get into that in a minute. So, um, but just about, I just looked up like, you know, just some common or even some just fun resolutions to like sprinkle into your list. So it's not so, so, so you're not so hard on yourself. Mm -hmm. So I found, um, what's this on countryliving.com. They had a, a lot of fun ones on there to, to sprinkle in because everybody wants to lose weight. Everybody what's wants to be better with living? money. It's a magazine called Country Living. Oh, all right. But they had the best list of like fun stuff because I kept looking for it. And I was like, I can't go on here talking about country living. But <laughs> it's actually. You had your hand like this. I can't. <laughs> I feel like I've never seen you do this in real life. So. Okay. Uh, really? Yeah. So I feel like I do it in my head a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so like I say, everybody wants to lose weight or just be in shape or eat healthy. Right. Or, you know, the gyms are always super packed for the first three weeks of the, of the year. Yeah. Um, and everybody wants to be better with uh, money or whatever. Like everybody just have, you know, those things. But I wanted to find some others to uh, sprinkle throughout to just make it fun for yourself and not so so that if you do if something does go undone you mm -hmm. don't feel defeated yeah so let's jump into it so we're gonna start with the fun um i love this one but i probably wouldn't do it um order every drink on the starbucks menu okay okay i can see that you can see that okay um I don't think I could do that though. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of sweet drinks it's on that. Too, it, yeah, it's too many things with a lot of whipped cream and yeah. caramel and. But um, I mean, it doesn't have to be Starbucks. You could do something else. You could find a healthy restaurant and order like everything, everything on, that on menu. the menu. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god! Might, you might open up your your yeah. your palate. I would love to do like. that at a um, Mediterranean restaurant. Okay. And just be, just work my way through the menu. I would like to do that at a steak restaurant. Because I typically, Ooh. we always get like the tomahawk when we go to our favorite Yay. spot. One because it's big, one because uh, another reason because it's just, it has like just amazing it's flavor. Still the flavor is um, so amazing. But yeah, I want to try, you know, like so I can, like, I want to be a connoisseur of sorts when it comes to steaks. And kinds of <laughs> you know, I think that I know, that's know. why, I mean, we kind of fell in love with, um, you know, our steak place, mm. but it was like my, my quest was to, 
every time we were celebrating something to go to, to a, a different, different steak one. restaurant yeah. in LA, but it's like every time it's like, but we know they're good. We know they're good. And their service is oh so fucking God. amazing. They they we have a couple people that remember us every time we go, and they always end up getting us. And it's just it's 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 dope to like have somebody that knows you build a rapport mm -hmm. with, and they're gonna uphold that service to the same level, if not higher, every single time. Every single time. So. And they like uh, our favorite server. He'd be remembering no matter how long it's been since we've been yeah. there. He remembers what we ordered the last time and our drinks <laughs> and our drinks. Oh fuck, it's good. I'll be tipping the fuck out of here. I know all of it. <laughs> What's his name? Hey, PJ. Mm -hmm. Um, not that he's listening. What was his name? Hey, Pasca not Pascal. No. Was, uh, um, Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Yeah, he said, "Call me Juice," but that was the yeah. manager. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our server, the one that we like, is the um tall, slim guy. Yeah. PJ. Yeah. Yeah. I like but, Giuseppe. Though. Giuseppe's such Juice a was smooth. Cool yeah, yeah. He, was, he was really smooth. Giuseppe. <laughs> he said, "But you could call me Juice." <laughs> <laughs> Good times, man. Good times. Um, okay, so I um I I like this because you know how we like to host things, mm -hmm. but when it comes to like providing snacks and, and stuff like that, I am terrible at mm -hmm. it. And so another one on this list that I feel like I should add to mine is perfect your char um charcuterie board. Coochie board, get your what? nice little coochie board. That's what we calling it? Chikuchi. Chikuchi. You proud of yourself saying that mm -hmm. out loud? Chikuchi board. Put some commas on there. Some X. Uh, <laughs> Dental <them> down. <laughs> well, Couple what? of individual packets of lube. Okay, let's... let's, let's that actually get... would be dope, though. <laughs> it would <laughs> people, be. People come in, they be like, hey, what's that? Y'all ain't got no food. Y'all just got a... <laughs> A tray full of <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a it's a sound clip that people it. keep using on the reels. It's like, oh, this nice right here. This really nice. Where your clothes at? <laughs> <laughs> they come in and see that Chikuchi board. They be like, where your clothes at? <laughs> oh, I thought you got it from the board. What are you doing? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh wait, the, that don't even sound safe. Uh, <laughs> not you wait until they got there to tip. Oh my god. Surprise, niggas. Um this one right here. Uh we already don't do this though, but stop drinking your morning coffee after you brush your teeth. Yeah. yeah I like yeah, yeah. that. And yeah. that was something that I didn't even start doing until you. Mm -hmm. Until I noticed that you did that. And I was like, you know what? That makes perfect sense. I'm not gonna ruin the taste of my delicious coffee with toothpaste. No. Or man. just ruin the like the the freshness of your breath because yeah, you're jumping that. straight into coffee. Absolutely, Go immediately coffee after. No nah, man, no, nah. <laughs> no. Nah. I get up, I make our coffee. We don't talk to each other, so we don't kill each other. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the worse your dream, the bad in your breath. So you know, <laughs> yeah, we don't talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? The nah. worse your dream, like mm -hmm, like so if you have a bad dream, you're gonna wake up with some horrible breath. Why? I don't know. Why? How? Don't, what's the connection? Man, look, don't try to understand uh, Tell me how your don't brain works. Tell me how your brain works. <laughs> I want to understand you, babe. Girl, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. Oh. <laughs> the kid says that I do this and I don't even realize it. So, um, after every sip, like, we're going through the... Uh, just fun resolutions to put on your on your list for 2022. Since you know, because of the pandemic and stuff, mm -hmm. what you probably had planned for last year didn't happen. So let's let's have fun next year. Um, this one, the kid says I do, and I don't realize it. She says that I um, say ah, after I take drinks, after I take sips and stuff. I'm I, I have heard you do it, but I only heard you do it when you be playing. When I'm being like, silly. But no, she says that like I just like do like this a kind of sigh or mm. whatever after my sip. I never really She do hates it. the way it sounds when I'm, I, I'm just but, gonna look for it. No. I'm just gonna I shouldn't it. have said nothing. Let me tell you something though. Let me Cut this you, out. Let me tell y'all what Farron <laughs> does do now. Farron what I do? be burping. Oh my god. Big but let's say 
parents started doing probiotics because she can never burp, right? I like, could not I burp first, to save my life. Probably like six, six years, six and a half years of our marriage, she she could not burp, right? She would be oh so gassy, all of that. I it was burp. so much pain, but I could not burp to save my life. She got on these probiotics and now, <clears throat> oh, excuse Just, me, y'all. You burp like a nigga. You, I know you feel it coming. <laughs> but even if I feel it coming, I can't stop it. No, but you could. You you like burp and then you put your <laughs> hand up. I'm like, nigga, it's too late. It's like doing this after you cough. And I'm still new to the burping community <laughs> and um, <laughs> I'm still trying to burp. Oh, excuse me, y'all. <laughs> Every time I'd be like, I'm so gross. <laughs> yeah, she's like, hey, oh, I'm so gross. I'm yes. Sorry. Yes, you are. I'm I'm sorry, I'm gross. <laughs> <laughs> My grandmother's funeral, nigga. Learn how to control that shit. Um I feel targeted. Good. Oh, shit. I thought you was going to feel sorry for me. <laughs> what was that? Outrage? <laughs> what? Sorry for you. Oh, ooh, okay. And last one. Um, but I don't, yo, y'all go find this because I don't want to read them all. I just p- I'm picking out the ones that I really like. Learn the thriller dance. I always hate when I like see watch a movie and they do the thriller dance and it's like mm. I don't know it, so I can't dance along. You know I love to dance long along. Dance. I don't care. I want to know it and I don't know it. Mm-hmm. Even th- well, no, I was about to say the Michael Jackson game that we had, um, but mm-hmm. it wasn't even the full dance. Yeah. It was something else. But yeah, so yes, you guys do something fun. Sprinkle some fun in there. Don't be all. Yeah, yeah. Let's bring a little fun in that. It's all about balance. He's been on a kick with balance lately. First of all, I told you that in confidence. It was not in confidence because you also said it on um, damn internet today. Yeah. Yes, they'll hear it when it comes out. It's out there. Oh well, it's out. You guys heard it. He brought up balance on that. I don't remember. I was high as hell. No, but you were you've been talking about it even completely sober. You've yeah. been talking about it like and it, I said that to you. I was oh, like, it's been was heavy talking. on your mind. Yeah, yeah, just it has. It has bal- you know. Mm-hmm. That is um, true. Yeah. So excuse you. You're right. Right into your face. <laughs> <laughs> Uniquely me. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> Shout out to everybody that's in here too. Young deuces, man. We see y'all. Uh Tiffa. What's up to y'all? Appreciate y'all pulling up tonight, man. We're going to try to knock out these two episodes yes. as quick as possible. Yes, yes. Uh, we're supposed to do three. We might do one in the morning. But, uh, we may only do one tonight. <laughs> Fan is sleepy. I'm so sleepy. She is sleepy. I'm so child. sleepy. And I've been trying to take a nap for like the past six hours. And sleep is avoiding me. Mm-hmm. So I've just been laying awake and angry. Um, But I'm happy to be here with y'all, though. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all that matters. Okay. So, we got the fun part out the way. We started with the fun. Mm-hmm. We were chill now. We've created a vibe before we get to the point of writing anything out and creating vision boards. Like, we are we about to kick off this new year. Like, oh, we ready. Shit. Let me go grab me a drink there. I'll let you do this part. <laughs> this don't sound like fun? No, I need a drink for this. Okay, all you know is work, work, work. Listen I here, know. Rihanna. I'm I need you to relax. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it back, Al Riri. <laughs> um, okay, so just some some things to just keep in mind. I'm gonna jump right in. Focusing on a passion and not on the way you look. And I love that so much because so many people like jump into the I wanna get in shape, I wanna get in shape, and it's like all this, and you start off the year already kind of feeling defeated. Because you know you, and it's like when you're really ready to get in shape, you will. You don't need to put it right here, right now, and because that'll mess up your intentions for the year. So, and that's on the top of my list, moving with more intention mm, in the on, next year. Queen. So I just want to be like more deliberate with my with my movements and more thought out. So yeah, so don't don't set yourself up for failure, friends. Is what I'm saying. Um, and yeah, so focus on something that you really love to do. You, the focusing on your body or whatever, doesn't have to be on a list just because that's what's on there every year or that's what's the, the go-to thing. Um, 
And if it is on there, work out and get in shape to feel good, not to achieve a, a certain look or because you see somebody else's body goals or whatever. Like, do what feels good. It's all about being healthy and balance. Balance. <laughs> Um, okay. And oh, I love this one. Stop gossiping. Another one that I would have never thought to put on the list, but that's kind of heavy. That that can be heavy, especially cuz you know, especially in the the black culture like, you know, roasting Jonan is like kind of what we do. And so we're constantly like talking about each other, even if it is in a fun way, but you know, that goes, it can just mess up some, your vibe and your, your own energy and the own blessings coming to you. So just be more, be more mindful of who you're talking about and what you're sharing that you probably shouldn't be sharing and all of that. True. Um, and this is something that I started doing actually this year is an, another one. Um, I started doing this year and I'm working on getting better at it because I still miss opportunities to do this, but it's to give compliments. Oh, yeah. I will see someone and like something or just think they look nice or whatever. And I'll say it to like the person I'm with or I'll just think it and I won't tell them. And it's like, what? just What's wrong with that? Y'all know I'm big on giving people yes. their flowers. Yeah. I'm big He's, on that. And you're great about it with people that you know. And mm -hmm. yeah, I am too about people I know, but I'm talking about like even strangers just walking up the street like, yo, I like your shoes. Yeah. Or you know, I like, you know, the, what you what you got going on. Like, you know, it feels good hearing that from it. For me, it feels good hearing that from a stranger. And, and you know what's crazy so, is like for the longest time as a man, I felt weird complimenting women because I felt like they would see it as me just flirting or trying to hit on them. Absolutely. But I think it's all in the approach. Mm -hmm. Like I saw somebody with a with a dope outfit on, and I was like, I love your outfit. Mm -hmm. It's it's really just well put together. Mm -hmm. You are killing it. And I walked away. Mm -hmm. And as I'm walking away, they were like, thank you so much. I'm like, you're welcome. So I just led with just the positive energy. Mm -hmm. And I think people can read yeah. when you're just trying to be real with them and yeah. it's possible to do but yeah it's it's it 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 is i'm all about that though give people their flowers man because um, you don't know who day you could change just by mm -hmm. complimenting them speaking to them and i'm big I, I was really big on like like reading somebody's energy and if they not like i, I feel like if they walking hands in their pockets shoulders down or shoulders up and head down they don't want to be bothered and shit like that so i would Kind of gaze at on if I said, "Hey, how you doing?" or "Hello," as I pass them. But in the recent turn of events, I had to be faced with the the decision to let other people's actions change who I am. Mm -hmm. And even talking with my therapist, she was like, "Don't let people dictate how you move in the sense yep. of like changing you." Mm -hmm. And so now mm -hmm. I'm at a place mm -hmm. where like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna speak regardless. If the yep. person doesn't speak back, that's on them. Right. Yeah. I'm not going to stifle my positive energy just because I feel like somebody is not going to return it. I'm going to yeah. be me and still give them that, that greeting. And you know um, what else the, this age of, you know, living in the mask so often, I know initially it stopped me from speaking to people mm -hmm. because I would always start off, like I would smile at somebody and then it's like smile, hi, walking down the street. But I'm smiling and my, the smile's not returned because they can't see it. And that's not registering because to me, and so it's like, man, I'm not talking to anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm not speaking to anybody. And this is just weird for me because I walk down the street and I say hello to everybody I pass. Mm -hmm. um, so that, um, yeah. So that's, that's important as well. Just being positive. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I don't know the Bible all that well, y'all, but I know for sure this is um, paraphrasing, but I know for sure it's in there. That it's like life, the world, it already will give you negative things. So don't bring them. Don't cause them for yourself. That's a hell of a paraphrase because I ain't never seen it's it. It's in there. It's it's somewhere around there. Someone's yeah. going to be like, hey, this is what it is. Never heard that like that. John 316 says. Okay, first of all, it's not, <laughs> it's not that at all. 
<laughs> it's in there though. It's in there. It's something like that. I'm paraphrasing because okay. I, I don't know the exact words. G Laurie, you know what I'm drinking, my boy. <laughs> Come on. You know what I'm sipping on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um Brandy. Oh yeah. So in the months to come, working with a personal trainer, Fran and I work out uh two to three days a week with him. Um, you're gonna see a lot of changes in the way I dress, the way she looks. You're gonna see her taking a lot more pictures and clothing, uh, certain clothing brands. Uh, my goal for her, you know, is for her to become a brand ambassador for a number of brands, um, as well as me. Like, I want to do more brand work, more brand deals, but also I want to look the part of a leading man. And we got to be honest about it, Hollywood likes to put people in boxes. You know, Chris Pratt was like the only person I heard that they were considering making him what well, they were. They had he had ever got the part, but he was chubby and they were going to just be OK with him being a chubby superhero because you don't really see that. Oh, really? And for so, um, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxy really? But he lost a gang of weight. Mm -hmm. So much he weight really turned up that they, they had to go back and redo all of his costumes because he had lost the weight because he didn't want, I guess, to be that person. But so with that being said. I want to look the part, so I am committing to losing the weight that I need to, getting the stylist to put me in things that I must naturally wouldn't gravitate to or would have turned a blind eye to. Mm -hmm. um, so I want y'all to think, oh, the money changes to here. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it absolutely will. But the dressing is because I'm just trying to get to that next level of where I want to be. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's what's going to be going on. So, um before I jump into uh, the um, these more or stay in these more serious ones, though, still, I don't know. I won't call them more serious. They're just not as as silly as the ones that I that I started with. But um, the I don't even know if that's possible for us. But the travel on a small budget. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of envy those people who was like, you know, I was in whatever country with $400 and I'd slept in a tent and, uh, and it's like, that's pretty cool. It is. It's pretty cool. Too. I just so, don't think I could do it. I don't think that's for me. I could do it on a camping trip like a weekend Yeah, because I'm accustomed to certain comforts and I'm not willing to jeopardize that on a long-term basis. Mm-hmm. Like tent, sleeping bag, all that shit is cool, but the ground is uncomfortable. <laughs> that shit is very uncomfortable. Uh, so I can do maybe two days of camping, and the rest of the time is gonna be glamping. I'm gonna have a generator. We're gonna when we went camping one time. Let me tell you what I asked it. We got uh, an eight person tent, and we used air mattresses, Ain't and no we use like the the double the the really thick ones. Yeah, they're called yeah. double something, but yeah, the double tier air mattress. <laughs> we was I'm not playing. I put so much lie on the ground. <laughs> Grass will probably never grow there again. <laughs> and I wasn't finna deal with no ants and shit crawling all in a tent. Put the lie down, then we put the tarp down, and then we put the tent on top of the tarp. Uh, tarp. We had the air mattress. We had the generator to blow up the air mattress. We had our laptops in there. We watched Netflix <laughs> and shit like that. They ain't doing all of that. Man. And then on top of that, we had a camper there too. So we was going in there washing our hands. I'm like I'm not finna. Yeah, I'm not finna thug it out like that. Yeah, and where we were, they had like the communal showers and uh -huh. stuff, which that was disturbing, but. It was um yeah, it was better than just being out with trees for was, us. This was this is actually like like not too long after Fan and them first moved out here. This we was like camping. within the first month. Yeah, we went camping with Tangerine, Clayton, and uh <laughs> and Tangerine's family. Yeah. Tangerine and Clayton weren't even married at this point, let you know how long ago this was. We and I don't think we, we, we weren't no, we weren't we married weren't. at that time uh -huh. either. So yeah, we had um me, the kid had mm -hmm. just moved out here and my mm -hmm. niece was with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Taylor. Um, yes, little baby Taylor, but um, yeah, traveling on a small budget, like the things that I want to do, like tree live staying in a tree house is not free, it's not cheap either. <laughs> it's not, I would stay in they got some tree houses on Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they do amazing. Do no, I want to do it, but those those aren't small budget things, no, no, not at all. and it's like. Uh, I don't even think I would be able to survive just off 
the the food I'm gonna want to eat and where mm. I will be comfortable sleeping. But if it's for you, <laughs> if it's for you, try it and tell me how it goes. <laughs> I do want to um, volunteer more. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I the kid is into the is into animals and stuff, and so I want us to like take some time out. It's like seriously this year. We talked about it for a while, but like take some time out and like go and volunteer at animal shelters or whatever mm -hmm. um this year. So that is on my list. Am I not loud enough? I'm just trying to make sure. Can you guys hear me? Wait, ask the people if they can hear me. Oh, sounds like you're kind of camping. <laughs> um but yeah the well oh I keep messing up my tabs. Babe, stop making me mess up my time. Um, did you? Don't do that. Fix your phone. Um, okay. So, oh, this is a good one too, you guys. The stop multitasking. No one's ever as good at it as they think they are. You know what? Something's always I, I beg to differ. Only because I was reading Virgil Abla's book. This, uh, let me grab it actually. Oh, the off white guy? Yeah. yeah. Something's off. Ugh. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So I was I was reading this book, and in this book he has um like all the all the designs and patterns of, of everything, and then the thing that stuck out the most to me was his theory for off-white with the Nikes and everything. And then I got to find it because it really like, I don't know, it just kind of spoke to me. And um, yeah, here it is right here. So if anybody gets this book, it's pretty early in this part. It's a black page. Um, and it says, uh, the theory is to underline its existence by being specific. And if you think about like the off-white shoes, it, you know, it says, uh nike logo uh swoosh air all that type of stuff and you know I, I felt like he gave us a look into he made the journey popular a lot of people are so focused on the outcome the end result mm -hmm. but what he did with 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 all of this stuff, like just putting the like, like holding the logo there, it all, it looks as if he's holding the logo there with the tape and things like that. Like, and and you getting to see like what it what it should be before it goes to production, what they need in certain places. Like, he made the process like people are paying to get his writing on his shoes, and I feel like people don't appreciate like the producers, the directors the architects that built these amazing buildings and the blueprints that go with it, we don't appreciate that because we're so focused on the, the end result, product. right? Yeah. And so I was looking at this and I thought what you thought. I was like, man, he must have really just focused in on one of these things and like really just took his time with it. But I saw a video where he was being interviewed by somebody and he's like, what advice would you have for... Um, somebody that's going into fashion something like that his advice was do multiple things he was like uh don't just focus on one thing like spread yourself out because you can get um you can get inspiration from so many different mm -hmm. places and that can come back to like what would you working on like two weeks ago or whatever so he was like spread yourself out and i believe that it, it is different for everybody you know i think some people do need to focus on one thing uh, they work better that way, but I believe some people have the capacity to do multiple things at once. I was looking for this. Okay, so let's define um, multitasking because multitasking is when people try to do multiple things simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Like they're trying to use their brain actively for multiple things mm -hmm. in that moment. Okay. And that's what people fell at. Okay. You uh, you can't put all your focus and attention on multiple things and give it a hundred percent. Well, see, this is what I was talking about. 
Virgil was working with Nike, I want to say since 2015, 2016. For those who can't see, he has a Tashin book, I think it's pronounced, called Something's Off by Virgil Abloh. So in that time from yeah, your 20, page so you don't uh, 2017 it. to now, the amount of shoes that he released, not just Nikes, but also Converse, uh, was insane. You got to think that he's doing this also while he's the creative director for um, for Louis Vuitton, right? And he also has his own clothing line, Off-White, and he's doing art inst uh, installments, and he's working with Mercedes-Benz. Like, that man did so much in that little time, in that five-year span. It blows my mind to think about yeah. So it and sounds I, like he was like constantly working, but I'm sure he had to compartmentalize yeah, definitely, everything. Definitely that. So yeah, that's not multitasking. Mm -hmm. That's just project coordinating and being hella organized. Man, <laughs> I was I already respected Virgil for just like yeah the way he did. Like I said, making the process popular. But when mm -hmm. I looked at that 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 spread out, mm -hmm. how much he had did over that little time, and like I said, he was still working with all of these other companies and doing art installations and uh, consulting on architecture and like just everything, man. It's just like that brother really used his time while he was here. You know, definitely um, wish nothing but positive energy toward his family and the, his loved ones and friends. But uh, that that was a beautiful thing he did while he was here. Yes, I agree with you. But back to what I said, stop multitasking. <laughs> um, yeah, it just it's not as efficient as you think it is. So schedule time to work on your specific projects mm -hmm. instead of and even with those things, break those down into smaller bite-sized pieces because that's what I have to do, and I'm like already um bracing for impact but i'm kind of excited uh about it um of just what's in store for me what i'm working on and just the the level of of focus and hunker downism mm, mm, hunker okay. downness hunker downification just finish it <laughs> i'm going to have to exert to be successful yeah so yes um, what else? What else? What else? I feel like I do this. Uh, or do yeah, you hate talking on the phone. Do y'all hate talking on the phone? Call people instead of texting them. Which with iPhones though, that voice memo helps. Yeah, absolutely. It absolutely. helps, but there just that that back and forth, that sharing of, of energy, that's mm -hmm. good. And we no shouldn't doubt. lose that. We should still we should still be okay with talking to people. Yeah, cause I'll get tired, or I'll be thinking of like, how can I, like, um, shorten this message so I don't have to type so much. And I'm like, fuck this, and I'll just call. Felicia says she hates it, but she likes FaceTime. Yeah, I, I don't like unexpected FaceTimes. That though. right there, when just that will get you blocked. Just you, you need to text me first and be like, hey. Are you free? Are you free? You know what I'm saying? We gotta have the kid around us. My niggas call me like, "What up, bitch?" I'm like, first of all, I don't like that. Second of all, <laughs> my daughter's right here. <laughs> uh, but I, I don't know. I really, I really don't be FaceTiming that much. I'm and I'm gonna try to get more to it next year. Yeah. That ain't calls. When I first switched back over to iPhone, I was like, every call you receive from me will be a FaceTime. I need you to be ready. <laughs> I'm so glad. My like mom in my favorites. <laughs> In my favorites, it's just the FaceTime option to kind of I know. You. <laughs> like, yes, look me into my face and talk to me. Say those words right into my face. Um, and another one. Oh my God. This is a good one, y'all, for if uh your financial management is on your list, because I feel like boredom led to a lot of my purchases this year. And I just need to move differently <laughs> in the next year. Um, not buying things I don't need. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will look so cute in it. But I don't. I don't need it. 
I don't even have the space for it. We really don't. If I bring in things, I have to plan. I have to already have in mind what I'm pulling out yeah. to get it in. So, yeah, just um, I'm definitely I, going to stop that. I consolidated two closets yesterday. Got rid of a pair of shoes, multiple jackets, hoodies, and coats. Yeah, two bags. And I still yeah. don't have fucking space. space. Yeah, it was four bags. Was it four? It was four bags. Oh, it was two big Ikea two. bags. Uh -huh. And it was those two plastic bags with that all black plastic bag. Oh, and it was yeah, that yeah, white yeah. bag bag. Yep, it sure it was. It was four bags of shit. And yeah. I still Oops. don't have place. Sorry, that was loud. Um, yes. So just if you're while you're on that, just be like, do I need this? And if the answer is no, then don't get it. Or sometimes you just really want something really bad, but you only want it really bad in that moment. Sleep on it mm -hmm. because I do that to myself. It's like, mm, if I still want it in a couple of days, like if it's on my mind, that heavy, I'll come back and I'll forget all about that shit. It'll be a week later. I think about it. I'm like, oh, it's been days. I'm not that concerned. Yeah. And then, you know, I read something the other day and it was talking about how uh, people who spend money on experiences versus material things. Mm -hmm enjoy it more mm -hmm. more and i know like that that retail therapy is a real thing in that moment you buy something <laughs> you feel better in that moment but yeah. that is a fleeing oh, feeling my. yeah because a couple hours later you could be back distraught or thinking about whatever made you mm -hmm. you know was the motivation to buy that thing because um it's just temporary satisfaction but when you experience something uh like even just something yeah. is not even like necessarily a trip like something as small as just taking yourself to dinner and yeah. that dinner was great like you'll value that memory, that experience more than that material thing because the satisfaction of that material thing sometimes fades immediately after you buy it. And sometimes it's over time. Like when you wore something, a pair of shoes a couple of times, like yeah. you stop being as careful. You stop avoiding puddles as much. You stop <laughs> worrying about, like I take my really good shoes, I take them off while I'm driving and I, I keep mm -hmm. a pair of slides in my in car, car yeah. so I don't mess up the back of that heel. But like a pair of shoes that I might have saved up for it got, it's a year and a half later or two years later, I'm just hopping in the car and driving now. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? So, but that memory is still priceless. Yeah. Working. So, yeah. Try Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Instead of buying something super expensive, take yourself to dinner, take yourself to a movie, uh, yeah. take yourself to a spa. You know what I'm saying? Go get a massage, get something that is, yes, yes, you know, yes. more of an experience than just go, a material thing. Well, probably not now, but, you know, go to a concert when we're allowed to do that again. Mm -hmm. I saw this on um, IG earlier from the Regent Theater out here mm -hmm. in LA. And it said, um, is this guy skipping all these steps and it says me and it says saving money. He's stepping over saving money, checking if he has to work, finding a way to get there. He just buying the tickets. And that used to be me. It's like, I don't know what the fuck is going on this day, but I want to be at this show. I'm just going to buy these tickets buy this ticket and the rest of it to figure itself out yeah and yes yeah, so um but yeah just be be more intentional with what you're doing with your money some more stupid she said i can't sleep on it because my size is gonna be gone the next day <laughs> <laughs> well hide it then go sleep on it did y'all y'all ever do that we used to do that when i was younger i haven't what? had to do it like if it was the last one in the store and you wanted to like check some other places or something, you will hide it in a different part of the store Hilarious. and then you will go do whatever. And if you, you know, if you wanted to go back, you go back, you get it, you know, pull it from your, your little secret spot ah! and pay for it. Yeah, that is hilarious. Yes. But yeah, we definitely used to, um, used to to hide stuff in stores and and pray it'll still be there <laughs> if we if we wanted it um, um yeah okay so now okay Farron, we have some fun things we have some serious things but how do we stick to all the things mm -hmm. okay so here we are with that part um so limit yourself don't overwhelm yourself mm. like set yourself up for success like you can always add more goals 
once you've crossed some things off. So like, it's not like, oh, this is just the end all be all to my list. I, the, I either do this or it's nothing. It's like, no, it's give yourself that space to be flexible mm -hmm. and, and limit how much you're putting on your plate. You know yourself, mm -hmm. be honest with yourself. If you are not going to be able to stay focused enough to do more than three things, mm -hmm. then do not put 10 on your list. It's unrealistic for you. That's very true. And <laughs> very, very much screaming at me next year. <laughs> I'm trying to do my tour and I'm only trying to do 10 to 15 dates. Uh, yeah, I, want this, right? more, I want to focus more on my acting and brand deals so I can be here more. Um, and just not spreading myself too thin because mm. we, we still have stuff to do for the app. I still have shows I want to produce. Zooming with the homies is, is one of my main goals this year to get all of those episodes shot by spring so it can start airing once a week on Saturdays on the channel. Like, I very much in limiting what I'm saying yes to. I'm mm -hmm. moving very intentional with my yeses because yes. it doesn't matter how much money I might make on a gig and all that type of stuff. The one luxury that I can never get more of is time. Mm -hmm. So I have to be very intentional with it and very intentional with my yeses. So one of my goals for 2022 <laughs> is to utilize no more. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love that for you. Thank you. Yes. I'm excited. Okay. So, um, something, yes, the, we're jumping into how do we stick to our, to these goals, to these resolutions that we have set. So this one, I absolutely love. And it says, understand why you shouldn't make a change. It's like, know why you are doing this mm -hmm. and because if you're not committed to the why you're doing it then you're not going to be committed to the doing it mm -hmm. so it's like why am i saving money like what's my ultimate goal am i saving so that i could get this house am i saving just for the sake of saving because then you'll end up messing with it because there's no goal for for those funds Am I saving to so that I have three months of my monthly expenses? Mm -hmm. Like, have a reason behind it. Why am I? Why am I choosing to to lose weight, or why am I choosing to work out right now? Mm -hmm. Do I want to lose weight? Am I just trying to um, tone up? Why am I doing that? Because I saw somebody else and they looked great. But why are you doing it? Like, what's mm -hmm. your reason? Are you just chasing? that because it looks good or you is this actually something that's going to be um good for you and a positive change for you mm -hmm. as a person as a whole so understand why you know what you may write this list and be like you know what i don't need all these things on here this mm -hmm. is actually not even worth my attention right now and not worth me feeling defeated because i don't feel like i'm going to be able to do this right now um so that is one. And um, <laughs> uh, what? Oh, like you about to say something. Um, give yourself a medal. I like this. And this is also, I feel like this will be great for you. Like when you accomplish something, like actually celebrate that, enjoy that instead of just running over it. Mm -hmm. So and it's those little like those celebratory moments or those little rewards that you give yourself for accomplishing things that help keep you on track because you will like that that uh what is it intrinsic yes intrinsic feeling of being of of accomplishment you know you'll feel good yeah i'm definitely going to do that when i hit a hundred thousand subscribers on youtube, YouTube. i'm eight thousand subscribers away <laughs> um so tell a friend to tell a friend man i'm definitely gonna do a hard push for it in the top of the year um uh, and you know depending how well the tour goes, you know, I'm definitely going to celebrate that as well. Like maybe with a trip mm -hmm. or uh, maybe filming my special, you know, I don't know, but I'm definitely going to celebrate those wins more now. And not just with uh, material things. Like I said, the trip might be in the, uh, back to Amsterdam. That's an experience that I can really enjoy and just feel like I earned that time off. And mm -hmm. that's what I'm looking forward to. Nice. Can I go? 
<laughs> Boy, fuck you. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I'll push you down. Um, another one, learn from the past, um, which I feel goes into it. You know yourself. Mm hmm and if you're honest with yourself you'll be honest with creating these resolutions like you know if you know you're that type of person that gets your what they say like um when you're in a buffet line like your eyes bigger than your stomach mm -hmm. like you just you want to accomplish all these things but bring it narrow it down mm -hmm. and and do what's realistic for you if you want the people that can just check off all the shit and you just got all the discipline then Oh my God, how does it feel to be so amazing? Um, but not all of us are like that. Mm -hmm. And you just have to to meet yourself where you are while you're building to to become a better version of yourself. So Absolutely. yeah, so give yourself that that time to reflect on on the the past and what was accomplished and how to move further and what's actually realistic for you um yeah and um be comfortable meeting yourself where you are like you the the and i'm speaking to a perfectionist on this like be thankful and celebrate your accomplishments at all of the levels at all of the levels like to here has given me a goal what did you say 100k by june mm -hmm. on ig 100k by june and so i'm like okay i feel like i need to break that down into a smaller bite for myself so i'm giving myself to my birthday to get to 50. like i'm trying to really like go hard okay so um yes so those those things like just and but whatever it is like i get so excited regardless my niece called me one day she facetimed me one day and was like did you know you're at eight thousand um, followers on instagram and i was like i honestly i didn't know like i and i was like all giddy and excited about it and we sat and chatted about it for a little while um and then it's like oh now what's next mm -hmm. and you know so it's in that even that having that conversation with her helped spark my excitement for just moving forward so yeah, um, just just be proud of yourself. Like, mm -hmm. shit, it's life hard. It is. So celebrate those accomplishments. And celebrate all of them. And don't celebrate. just wait for the big ones. Celebrate, celebrate the smaller suit. Of them. Yes. If you get up on a morning where you party hard the night before, and you get up and you go work out. Celebrate that accomplishment. Celebrate it. You you are showing discipline. You're showing your dedication to achieving your goal. Celebrate that. Not with like you know I a didn't... drink or food, but like <laughs> like. Give yourself some praise. Give yeah. yourself some, some grace for that. Yeah. Like, you know, take a, a mental health day or half a day and just like sit and binge watch something as your your prize. Mm -hmm. or, you know, just and be thankful. You know, everybody talks about a spirit of gratitude and being thankful. But thank yourself. Like, be on your Snoop Dogg shit. Like, who do you like? Who would you like to thank? Me. Shit. Yeah. It's hard. And I'm, I have kept myself alive for her. All these years, like I'm doing, human. I'm, do, human. I'm doing so good. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So that is, uh, I do, I do want to know like what other people's because y'all know I like being in y'all business. Alicia so says, tell me, she hasn't drank alcohol in two hours. <laughs> good job, friend. <laughs> Who proud of you, boo? Me. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> We're playing the game. Are we still playing a game with them tomorrow? Yes. A seven, right? Yeah. All right, cool. We're gonna be playing a game with Kalicia as a uh, um Keon and Cotty Dad. Oh, gonna Keon be and Cotty gonna be there. I don't know who else. But uh um where 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 was it gonna be on? Is it gonna be on she said on their platform? On that on platform, the, they're doing it through StreamYard. They're doing it through StreamYard tomorrow too. So yeah. Uh, she's in here right now. Make sure y'all check out Kalicia's page. I'll post it if she has a flyer. Uh, but it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good time. So make sure y'all check time. that out tomorrow. A good time. I'm excited. 
Mm -hmm. I'm excited. When am I not? Um, yes, but yeah, back to what I was saying. Y'all know I like to be in your business. So what's your what's your resolutions and whatnot? Like, let me know how you starting off 2022. Wow, y'all, it's 2022 already. Mm -hmm. How exciting. Okay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I do uh, want to point out, though, because I've just like it's been super heavy on my mind. Something that you said that you wanted to do moving forward is being nicer to the dog, um, walking him and stuff like being an active participant in the in the upbringing of our little fella. <laughs> And um, I'm super excited to see what this looks like going forward. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I was very nice when I, I walked like, today and everything, you know? Oh, yeah. But you had to walk him today, though, because I couldn't. Yeah. So that was different. But you actually just being an active participant, refilling a water bowl every once in a while. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gay. <laughs> Look at that face. He's like, I said those words, but... Don't hold me to it. No, nah, I'm on it. No. I feel like, you know, it bleeds into other areas of my life. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, I'll, yeah, I'm, I'm all I'm Lead all with love. Yeah. Um. Yes. So, you guys, but yes, let us know your um your top resolutions. If you if you do it, how, how good are you at sticking to them? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. and uh, tell me your tricks for being able to stick into it. Uh, stick, stick. Stick to it. The there words. There you go. Word is hard. It is. <laughs> but yes, I want to know all the things. But um, yes, that's that's all we have for today. I'm excited for 2022. So I can't. Let's yes. Yeah. This is great. It's gonna be a good time. Yes. So we will see you guys next week. Right. Thank God so much for watching. Thank yes. God for uh, uh spending your uh, almost New Year's Eve with us. The people that are watching this, Happy <laughs> New Year to you. And Happy yes. New Year to the Scary Squad that are watching right now, man. Uh, wish you guys much success, positivity, and good health. Scary Squad? Oh, shit. More mom. I got a lot going on, guys. You do. We know. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate <laughs> y'all. I love y'all as always, man. Uh, I'm to hear more. And I'm fair more. And we'll see you on the next episode of More to the Story. More to the story. Peace, guys. Bye.